Hi, my name is Sarah McLean. I'm with the McLean Meditation Institute in Sedona, Arizona. And I'd like to welcome you today to a meditation which will involve a deep relaxation, a transcendent breath meditation, and a gratitude for the body meditation. So find a comfortable place to sit, turning your cell phone off, So as you sit, you can begin to close your eyes, and with your eyes closed, you might notice that you become a little more aware of how your body's feeling and the sounds in the environment. So take a moment now, allowing your sense of hearing to be enlivened, becoming aware of the different sounds both in the body and in the environment. And instead of wishing things were different, things are quieter, you can go ahead and just welcome whatever sounds come to you now and throughout the meditation. Now let your awareness shift to the subtle sense of touch, how your body feels as you're sitting here. Notice the support you're getting from your cushion or your chair. And notice now the way your body feels. Let your breath be steady. Relax your face, your scalp, and your forehead. Letting go of any tension in your eyes, your cheeks, your mouth, even your tongue. Relaxing your entire face and tucking your chin in just a little so the back of your neck lengthens. Let your arms relax by your sides, letting your hands be comfortable, your fingers completely relax. Allowing your shoulders to move down and away from your ears. Letting your entire upper body relax, relaxing your diaphragm, your upper back. And relax your belly. Relax your low back, your hips. Letting go of any tension in your thighs or your knees. your calves, your ankles, your feet. Allowing your body to be soft and open. Your body is always in this present moment. There are memories in the past stored in the body. But this body right now is in the moment. And that is where your life is. This moment is where your life is. Allow your attention now to notice the subtle sensations of your breath. There's no need to change or manipulate your breath. Simply feel it as it moves in and out of the body.
Ideally, you'll be breathing through your nose. And you might notice the subtle coolness of the breath on the inhale. Feeling the chest rise and the belly expand. And on the exhale, feeling the chest fall, the belly contract a little and the ever so warmer air coming out on the exhale it's very subtle bring your attention to the space where the inhale meets the exhale the exhale meets the inhale that gap between the breaths. There's no need to try and change or control your breathing. Simply feeling it as it moves in and out of the body naturally and as it has done since you were born. Your breath, too, is always in the present moment. It's connecting you with this world of form and phenomenon. And on your next inhale, allow the breath to fill your lungs. And as you hold the breath in for a moment, for a brief pause, feel that fullness and nourishment that your breath gives you. Allowing yourself to exhale and hold the exhale for just a few extra seconds. Inhaling, hold. Exhaling, hold. your breath now return to its natural rhythm. And notice with your awareness as you breathe easily the space around you. Do you feel where your body begins or ends? And the space in the room where it begins or ends. Once again welcoming any sensation, any sound, without trying to change or manipulate a thing. Allow yourself to perceive whatever you're surrounded by. And if you notice your attention drifts away from your environment and from the experience you're having to a thought about the future or the past, allow yourself to be anchored by the sensation of your breath and the feeling of your body as you sit, bringing yourself once again back to the present moment. yourself now to fully concentrate 
on the sensation of the breath. You might even be able to hear the sound of your breath as you naturally breathe in and out. Begin to introduce a mantra now, a very gentle, silent mantra that is based on the sound of your breath. So on your next inhale, gently think the sound so. And on your next in exhale, gently think the sound hum, H U M. So on the inhale, hum on the exhale, continuing to repeat this mantra gently, easily. You might even be able to hear the sound of so in your inhale and hum on your exhale as you breathe. The repetition is very gentle and relaxed. It's almost like you're listening to it. Whenever you notice your attention drifts away from the mantra to a noise in the environment or a train of thought or an emotion, once these have passed and you realize you're no longer focusing on your breath and on the mantra, you can gently come back to it without berating yourself in any way, being very kind, knowing that this too is a part of meditation this training of the awareness. The mantra is always in the present moment. So let's go ahead and silently repeat this mantra and I'll keep track of the time. So on the inhale, hum on the exhale.
keep coming back to the mantra. So hum. If you notice you're waiting for something to happen or you're focusing on a mood or a sensation, treat this as you would any other thought. Gently and innocently come back to the mantra. Keep coming back to the mantra. Be sure your body's completely relaxed. Keeping your eyes closed, let the mantra drift and go, allowing yourself to simply sit in the stillness, in your own presence. In this stillness, you might be able to experience a center, a sense of interconnectedness with all that is. Less of a sense of separation than before. Feel the life force at work within your body. The same life force that is in nature, in the world around you. Bring your attention now to the center of your chest as you continue to breathe normally. Perhaps you can hear your heartbeat or other noises that your body makes. Your heart too is always in the present moment. Your heartbeat has been happening since the day your heartbeat, your heart cells developed. Again, see if you can sense this interconnectedness and this little bit of a dissolution of your body, that there's no hard edge 
in space or time. If there's an area of your body that you felt is not well or that you wish would, ch would change slightly or the pain would go away or the cancer would retreat, I'd like you to bring your attention to that area of your body, body right now. And as the mind might arise with thoughts of, I need healing here, or I need this disease to go away, I'd like you to acknowledge those thoughts, but again bring your attention back to the area of your body that you believe needs specific healing. Just simply allowing yourself to be with that space, that place, that intelligence. And instead of wishing it were different, practice now loving how it is. Loving the dis-ease. Loving that part of your body back into wholeness. Maybe there are many parts of your body like this that you wish were different, thinner, younger. Whatever those areas are, allow your awareness now to travel to them, sending this sweet love that you have, your gentle witnessing awareness to it, non-judgmental, purely potent loving part of yourself. You might even feel that when you do spend time and attention on these areas that there's a subtle warmth, a relaxation, a healing that's taking place on the subtlest level. Love in its very nature is unconditional. It's healing, it's balancing, it's purifying, it's nourishing. Allow yourself to bring this quality of this awareness, this loving presence to the parts of your body that need it. Hold yourself in a kind attention, this loving attention. And if you notice a contraction or a holding, gently allow your breath to softly open the area. And if you become aware of any aversion or resistance in your mind, a story you're telling yourself about your body, 
notice these thoughts, but let them rest and gently return back to the physical body, feeling the layers of the place of pain or illness and allowing each layer to open, to dissolve in its own time. Bringing your attention to the pain or the disease as if you were gently comforting a child. Accept all there is about you. Accept all there is about your best friend, your body. continue this as long as you like, but now I'd like to bring our attention to our senses once again, our sense of insight or sight, and to feel grateful for the ability to see the beauty that surrounds us. Take in the stars, the sunlight, and the world that supports our every move, and the ability to look inward with the mind's eye. To create healing, to tap into our intuition and our knowledge. feeling gratitude for the sense of smell that connects each one of us to the earth and its creation. That alerts us to comfort and discomfort. And the sensation of taste as we get to taste the Earth's intelligence and sunlight through food. Tasting the earthly delights and learning how to nourish ourselves this way. Communing with the Earth through the act of eating and taste. grateful for the sense of sound, the sense of hearing the world out there, and the vast world of our own thoughts in here, and hearing our intuition, and hearing our body's signals of comfort and discomfort. Hearing the beautiful music of creation, the ocean breezes, the sound of rain, the sound of a creek, the birds singing in the spring. We get to hear nature's intelligence. And of course, as we sit here, 
get to hear our own heartbeat and our breath. And of course our sense of touch as we are touched by the world and as we touch the world. And as we tune into the subtleness of feeling Bringing your attention right now, once again, to the body, to how it feels on the inside, to the breath, and how that feels. And how you feel in this moment. This peace, this vitality, this nourishment. This creative intelligence that underlies all that is. It's a part of you. yourself to bring your attention back to the area of your heart and as you breathe in and out imagine your breath coming in and out of the heart bringing your awareness there ask yourself silently the question how can I best take care of myself today asking it a few times like a like a drop of water into a still pond asking that question like a koan into the brilliance of your own heart and listening. How can I best take care of myself today? people don't hear anything. Others hear quite a few answers. Either way, it's the question that counts and the act of listening to yourself. So with your eyes closed, simply sit in the silence. There's nothing else you need to do, nowhere you need to go just yet. Begin to give yourself some deeper breaths through your nose. And keeping your eyes closed, begin to stretch a little, wiggle your fingers, your toes. And 
whenever you're ready, take your time, there's no rush, you can slowly begin to open your eyes. First with a downward gaze. And when you're ready to engage all the way, open your eyes fully. This is a very important part of your meditation, this integration. Remembering how you loved yourself fully, loved your body fully, and listening to the answer to that question, how can I best love myself today, and keeping it in mind and putting it into practice. Thank you for giving yourself this time today to be present with yourself, to reconnect with who you really are. And I invite you to join us next time. Take care.